So yes, IKEA is a company that has its roots in Sweden. Of course, the company has grown to become the largest producer of furniture in the world. In fact, you could theoretically visit a cafe in Vancouver, Canada, and then a restaurant in Vilnius, Lithuania, and find the same light fixtures or seating. While this may not be as much of a surprise in 2023, it might have been a little more novel a few decades ago. Yes, when it comes to globalization and multinational companies eroding any sense of local vibe, IKEA has to be one of the top forces perpetuating the trend. But even if that furniture is sold on a global scale, it has to be made somewhere. And for quite a few IKEA products, that somewhere is in Lithuania. It's this interesting fact that we'll explore in today's video. A shout out to my supporters over at Patreon for helping me choose this topic. So, the first thing I wanted to do for this video was actually go to IKEA to see if I could easily find some made in Lithuania products. Here's what happened on the trip. Stepping into the showroom area, it felt like looking for a needle in a haystack. In fact, none of the product tags displayed the country of origin or manufacturer. My wife and I searched and searched and searched, and we didn't find anything until we were close to the end. That's when my wife spotted this Pagaminta Lietuvoje tag on a cabinet. It didn't exactly prove that a lot of furniture was made in Lithuania, but it was a start. We made a little more progress after spotting some couch cushions in the marketplace area, but still, when considering all of the products sold by IKEA, it's really not much. Once we reached the area where you can collect all of your desired pieces of furniture, we were able to find where everything was made. It was here that we made the most progress in our hunt for Lithuanian-made IKEA furniture. It took a bit of careful scanning, but we found quite a few pieces of furniture made in Lithuania. But to be fair, there was also a lot of stuff made in Poland as well. But as you can see here, it was a more or less successful trip. So where exactly in Lithuania is this furniture being made? Well, the one Lithuania-based facility that we must start at is the IKEA industry facility located at Kazlu Ruda. The town is situated about 27 kilometers north from Mariampole and about 40 kilometers southwest from Kaunas. The town is surrounded by forests, but a railway line crosses the city and connects it to both Kaunas and Mariampole. As for IKEA industry, this is the name of the major furniture facility located within Kazlu Ruda. Looking at a satellite image from Google Maps, this facility is massive. I guess if you're going to mass produce and sell furniture to the world, you'd probably need to be producing at a large scale. According to IKEA Industries website, this facility comes from the acquisition and merging of two independent Lithuanian companies known as Giru Bizonas and Svedwood Kazlu Ruda. After IKEA acquired the companies, they were merged to form IKEA Industry Lithuania in 2014. Apparently, about 700 people work at IKEA Industry in Kazluruda, but I'm not sure how old those numbers are. You might also be interested to know that it's not just IKEA Industry that builds IKEA furniture in Lithuania. There are most definitely other companies in the country that have contracts with IKEA. Companies like Vilnaus Balde, which translates to Vilnius Furniture in English. Vilnius Balde is located on the southeastern edge of Vilnius, along the Neris River, and pretty much all of the furniture it makes is made specifically for IKEA. My own guess is that there are other companies in the same position producing items for IKEA under contract, but I decided it wasn't worth trying to do an exhaustive search for every IKEA supplier in Lithuania. But whether you're watching this from Vilnius, Lithuania, Richmond, Canada, or Tokyo, Japan, you might be closer to a piece of Lithuanian-made furniture than you think. It's pretty cool, right? But I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. And maybe leave a comment to let me know if you learned anything new today. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.